a number of physicians and certainly the public are not aware of encephalitis as an entity. Yet, really, it is a medical emergency where we know that early treatment makes a major difference to our patients, both with infectious forms of the disease and the growing and perhaps now more common autoimmune forms of the disease. We do not have a preventative measure for these illnesses. There are a few causes of infectious encephalitis where we may be able to prevent them through person-to-person -person spread, through trying to stop, for example, vectors like mosquitoes infecting some patients. But for autoimmune causes, we don't know of ways to prevent this illness. One of our principal goals is to figure out how we can educate other neurologists, physicians around the world, in order to identify patients earlier and give them early treatment. I see ourselves as a translational research group where we see patients, we care for them clinically, we obtain samples from our patients in order to understand their disease more closely. We want to know how the cells of the immune system which caused the illness appeared, how they perpetuated, which compartments they go to, which parts of the body they reside in, and then of course, fundamentally, how we can accurately delete them without giving the patients many side effects. So in the short term, I hope this research will help patients by being able to give physicians a better understanding of when we should treat patients, how we should recognize them, and which treatments might be most effective in which scenarios. In the longer term, I hope we'll be able to build a platform by which we can interrogate each disease in turn, and they all are slightly different to each other, and try and ask how do they cross compare to one another and how can we offer the right patient the right treatment at the right time.